Hi everyone. We're just taking Pippin for our last walk of the day and we've been thinking about our awning and how absolutely cluttered it is. We thought we'd have so much room in there once we <laughs> bought it. <laughs> But I'm honestly, it's surprising how quickly you can fill it up. Yeah, yeah. we have managed to cram mm. so much. Well, I don't think there's actually so much stuff in there, more than it's just mm. a mess and disorganised. Well, I think there is because there's three big tables and two little tables, and there's <laughs> six chairs, and we're only us two and Pippin. <laughs> well, Pippin's got her own chair, but. And then there's some boxes and, <laughs> and about we're, ten pairs of shoes. And I don't know where we're, we used to... <laughs> we're creating a manor house yes. in an awning. Yes, I think we are, <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, we've had, we've had a day at work. Oh. We're out in the field. Um, Pippin loves it. Yes. She's over there eating uh, Lord knows what. We'll just show you her. I think it's... Good girl. <laughs> Good girl, yes. You're coughing on that. Was that foxes or rabbits? What were you doing? You've been a good girl, haven't you? Yes, you do. Yes, a good girl. Come on then. Yeah. No more. No. So you can see she mm. does love to run mm. quite fast in the field. Um, and we walk up the top of the top of the hill and then uh, <laughs> strangely <laughs> back down again. <laughs> So if you've drank too much, you roll down then, don't you? <laughs> well, and we laugh, yeah. Well, yeah. Um, I haven't had a drink at all. Not today, I've no. Been working, working, yeah, working. No. no. Um, and we're, you know, hmm. I think we're in good, good yes. spirits, aren't yes. we? Yep, we are. Good, Very happy good mood. Spirits. Yeah. Um, looking forward to sitting down and having a. Have a little drink this evening. Yes, I think we will. Um, yes. Not sure what we're going to have for dinner. Some, some leftovers in the fridge, I suppose. Some processed packet food, I know that. Oh. There's no fresh vegetables left, nothing at all. But it doesn't matter, we'll, we'll make do. We have got tinned vegetables and they're just as good, so that'd be all right. Mm. Mm. Anyway, we'll, when we get back, we'll show you the awning. Yeah. <laughs> We'll give you a good view of that. It's an absolute tip. Yeah. So as you come into our awning, um, you'll see that I usually leave a raincoat hanging up on, on this peg. It, well, it's not a peg. It's one of the um, tensioning poles for the awning. But you can see we've got um, a, a, one of our new uh, reclining chairs just here and as we go down we've got a couple of tables with some bowls and some gardening gloves uh, we've allocated this green chair for Pippin <laughs> it used to be one of our main camping chairs but um, it was that cost us 20 quid from Halfords and it's just a you know it's quite comfortable but it does the the front of it just there cuts into your the back of your legs so we use it now uh, we, we use all our chairs for drying towels um, so there's another one of our anti-gravity um, or zero gravity uh, reclining chairs here's the uh, director's chair that I use to sit in and I use this as a as a desk to look out we've got some old bits of kit down here uh, down in the corner that I just throw down there that we really ought to be selling on eBay and I've got a toolbox and some MDF uh, board where I'm I'm planning to make um, a camera slider and if we just pan across uh, the side of the awning there you'll see um, I've got my tripod here and you might wonder what this sort of contraption is here this is my podcasting microphone. It's, um, if you're interested, it's a Rode Procaster that I have connected to this little bit of equipment here, which is a Zoom H4N voice recorder. This microphone is absolutely, well, it's exquisite. It produces a really, really great voice. I love the Rode equipment and it's got this um, sort of boom arm 
and anti-shake or anti-shock mount so if I knock the table it doesn't actually sound through the microphone. Then over here we've got a couple of storage boxes that are currently empty and I've got a lot of um, packaging on top from the uh, iPad and the shock mount there and the bits and pieces um, and so on. We've got another one of those green chairs that one of one of which we've allocated to Pippin um, they're okay but they're just a little bit uncomfortable then we come round to our makeshift kitchen we have um, our Actifry which is our sort of zero fat fryer um, really really good it's a Breville uh, Halo Plus uh, you'll see that there and then we have um, the microwave with some cereals and cleaner on top. We've got uh, the the little rack that goes in the halogen in, into the um, Breville um, Halo fryer. And then we've got the toaster, Wendy's uh, aromatherapy thingamajigger, and a zapper, which we've now got some batteries for. Bzz, bzz. it doesn't make that noise I just made that and we've got our um, halogen oven where we use that for for cooking like chickens and roasting and stuff like that we've got some bird food <laughs> as I say we are in a complete mess here um, we've got some bits and pieces of uh, oil uh, you know skin softening oil bird food um, aromatherapy oils my tripod thing, a spare kettle and a mirror. Um, I've just put my iPad down there. Um, my hat, um, don't look at that. It's our dirty washing. We never put our dirty washing in public. Um, and then we've got um, the caravan door and we're moving across. We've we sort of found this um, quite useful, this little hook thing that we've got hooked onto the side of the caravan. We hang our coats on it. It's quite good. Um, and then down here, we've got, we keep all our shoes. Now you might wonder why we've got so many shoes. Um, and I sometimes wonder, I have an old pair. Well, for me, I've got an old pair, the brown pair just there. I've got my uh, sort of, um, my other comfy pair that I wear most of the time. That's the black and blue ones there. I've got my Crocs, uh, which are easy to slip on and off. I have some shower shoes, those red things there. Underneath the shower shoes are some brand new um, Lonsdale trainers that are the same as the brown ones there, but they're not worn in yet. They do stretch and move and uh, anyway. So then um, I've got the boots on that I'm wearing which are my waterproof boots, but Wendy has uh, Crocs, other little rubbery sort of type shoes, not very comfortable for her. She's got these other trainers that she wears. They're very comfortable. The waterproof boots over the back there and the Wellingtons. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, 10, uh, 11, plus Wendy's slippers. 12 bits of footwear um, that we just shove normally over in the corner and then we're coming back round here and we've just come in so Wendy's dumped her bag on the floor and the water bottles we take to work and you can see there the other director's camping chair with all our clean washing um, waiting to be ironed it will actually wait there forever because we never iron anything. Everything seems to be either nicely, fashionably creased or all the creases drop out. And then we're back to the awning entrance. Oh, you might like to know also we hang pegs. This is out for our washing line. We hang pegs up there. But that's it. That's the tour of our awning. We have a lot of cleaning up to do. It's an absolute mess. And um, I really want to get it tidied up. I think it's in such a mess. I get so 
uh, disappointed with ourselves, especially me, because I'm the messiest one of us both. Anyway, that's it. Um, that's the end of our Sunday. We are going to now relax, have some uh, processed food, probably from tins and packets, and uh, I'll be having more wine, uh, or beer, or vodka and tonics. See you soon.